Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. Thank you for tuning in to the latest episode of the Stacked Supplement Podcast, where we run down all of the top stories and exciting announcements shared on our site from the past seven days. And I will, uh, hopefully everyone can understand me uh, this week. I was a bit sick last week and my voice just was not there. So we skipped the podcast, but um, we still obviously pumped out news as per usual. Uh, we're back again, obviously, for this week for this uh, roundup episode. And just as some quick admin, um, if you have a spare minute, if you have some spare time, please head over to clashofthecans.com and vote in this year's Clash of the Cans contest, where we basically hunt down and take the journey of finding the most popular energy drink out there. Um, this year has been as huge as always, as exciting as always, and coincidentally, um, we are on the semi-finalist round, and, and uh, coincidentally, the semi-finalists that have made it this year are pretty much the same as made it last year. Uh, last year we had, I think it was Bang, Rays, Rain, and C4 Carbonated, or now C4 Energy, in the semi-finals, and that is exactly who we have in this year's semi-final, minus Bang, who's actually been uh, switched out um, for Ghost. Ghost managed to progress through while Bang didn't. And so those are our four semi-finalists, Ghost, Rays, Rain, and C4 Energy. And uh, the way the breakdown of the uh, groups are, because obviously this is a semi-final, so it's, um, it's, it's, not a, it's not an all-on-all. Um, we have Rain, Total Body Fuel, taking on Ghost Energy from Ghosts. And then um, the other group is Rays Energy, taking on C4 Energy. Um, so... Obviously, not not everyone can make it through to the grand final, which will be taking place on Monday of next week. But um, yeah, it'll be a, a, a battle between um, those four to make it through. Our previous champions, uh, C4 Energy from 2019 and Rain from last year, um, do have the chance to repeat, which is pretty big. We haven't had a two-time champion. Um, obviously, we've only had two champions, and uh, they were both different, so... Uh, this could be the year of the two-time champion. It could be a third champion crowned um, in Ghost or Raze. Raze has actually always been up there very impressively. Um, they've always had a great following, great reaction from our audience. So um, it's no surprise that they're still up there or up there once again and could very well make it to the grand final. We'll, we'll wait and see. Um, you will notice we implemented some security uh, options or whatever you want to call them, um, the same as we did for Protein Wars last year. Uh, basically, when you vote now, you have to put your email address and then verify that vote via that email. You'll be sent, uh, basically, once you head in, pick your vote, enter your email, submit, you'll then get an email, and then you just have to go there, verify a vote, and uh, you'll be, uh, it'll be it'll be unconfirmed. We don't use the email for anything other than just the confirmation that's automated. Um, we don't take it, sign up to a newsletter or anything. It's purely just for the clash of the cans uh voting contest but um yeah so once you have, if you have time please just head over to clash of the cans.com share with all your friends family that'll be great uh, the more the merrier and uh, we look forward to seeing who gets the showdown in the grand final in about seven days um the next well sorry the the first story we're going to have that kicks off the roundup of stories um well the brand we're talking about is got seven nutrition who we have shared, I don't know how many sorts, countless stories over the past few weeks from them. And, and, and to be honest, as exciting as this is, this is a very GOT7 nutrition thing to do. Um, over the years, we've followed the brand since we first were introduced to it way, way back in FIBO 2016, I think. Not too sure. Um, they've, they've, they, they have these just sprees of months where they just drop product after product after product. And that's what we've seen over the past few months. Um, Going back, God, no, I, mean, I think maybe May, April, we started seeing some things, um, and it's just been non-stop since. There was the protein sausages, which I think we've mentioned on here before, uh, the good morning topping, which is sort of uh, uh, what are you, the crispy pieces you can throw on uh, pretty much anything, but obviously good, good morning topping, the idea is to throw it on top of like uh, something in the breakfast. But um, we've seen even more releases since those, um, and this past couple of weeks, uh, which are the ones we're going to talk about, we got um, a new flavor of syrup, which is uh, the brand's concentrated flavoring, um, and that flavor is mojito, 
so the, if you're not familiar with syrup or from Got Seven Nutrition, basically it is a just a big bottle of concentrated flavor. And the idea is you tip small amounts into a bottle or a cup of water, fill the rest up, uh, mix it around, and it basically it gives you a low calorie flavored drink. Um, that's the whole concept. And it's been around for a while now, but the other new product the brand has dropped in the past week is a spin-off of that called um, Syrup or Squeeze Syrup. And it's that same concept, that same formula, concentrated flavoring liquid in a squeeze bottle. So obviously much fewer servings. Um, but the idea is that uh, it, you, you can take this little bottle with you on the go because the other one, the original, I think is 750 mils. This is more of your pocket squeeze on the go type thing so it, it's intended to just be that kind of um, alternative and it does have different flavors to the full size uh, syrup with strawberry orange and cherry um, so not that new mojito that was just added to that original and the other product the brand has done and, and i was very impressed with this but again very typical of got seven nutrition they release premium protein burger buns um, basically they are burger buns you know, as the name suggests but they're higher in protein than your typical um, burger bun you get uh, in each bun it's 13.5 grams of um, sorry yes 13.5 grams of protein um, 37.8 grams of carbohydrates 3.7 fat for a total of 246 calories um, and it's just really another way GOT7 has uh, you know, clawed its way into the mainstream market and given you more reason to buy more from the brand um, they they just continue to do this and it's and I've always that's why I think I've always had great respect for Got Seven Nutrition because they you know they're not following these typical trends they're not following these uh, protein snacks or protein bars or even they they always find these new formats new categories that they can bring protein or low carb or low sugar into and they do it and and it's just a it's a very cool thing to see and again the protein burger buns are just another example of that. Um, it gives you reason to just have it in the cupboard, just add it in. Um, and it's uh, it's a main, obviously burger buns are very mainstream type food and they've just squeezed their way in. I think it was really cool to see. And it's it's it's, it's always exciting and, and surprising to see what they come up with, but also not so surprising at the same time, if you get what I mean, because we, we're we used to seeing GOT7 do different things. Uh, so whenever it's not a flavor extension, you know it's going to be something fun and different. And uh, yeah, the burger buns are another one. I'm talking of surprising new products. Um, Raise Energy, the uh, popular uh, energy drink from Rip Sports, who again is in the semifinals of this year's Clash of the Cans. Um, they dropped their second limited edition flavor last week. Was it the week? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was the week before, but it was around that time, which is the second limited edition flavor from the brand, which is something they're doing monthly. It wasn't really widely mentioned when they did their first limited edition flavor, which was uh, st strawberry lemonade in uh, June. And yeah, so they're planning to do a new limited edition flavor each month. And the latest one is rainbow, um, just a very colorful, <laughs> eye-catching can design. But that's not the surprising spin-off I'm talking about with them. Quickly following the drop of rainbow rays, um, we get rays cakes. Now, this is a product that you would think if you get a spinoff from an energy drink company, it's going to be energy infused or at least similar format, kind of like Bang, where you get different energy functional beverages or at least a beverage of some sort. Ray's Cakes is, um, it is a protein mud cake mix. So the idea is you pour it into a, a mug, a bowl, a cup, whatever, uh, mix it with a bit of water, I think and I think it's in under 70 seconds in the microwave and you're done, it's ready to go. So this isn't a, uh, and, and these aren't these aren't caffeinated cakes, if, if that's what you're thinking, this is a high protein, low sugar, low calorie uh, snack. So it comes with 12 grams of protein um, per serving. So each, they come in bags and each bag has um, six servings and each of those servings has 12 grams of protein. So it's pretty high um for a little cake with uh 32 grams of carbohydrates two grams of sugar five grams of fat and 180 calories so it's quite lean uh for the 12 grams of protein you get well, it's not overly lean it's not the, the, like the 20 grams of protein you get in likes of uh, the quest bar and the carb killer and, and and the bear bells protein bars and they sit around 200 calories but 
considering this is a, uh, a decadent little cake, uh, like a hot treat and not your traditional bar format, it's quite an interesting one. It's quite an interesting one. Um, so yeah, they've launched that in two flavors, um, a chocolate lava cake and birthday cake, and it'll cost you $19.99. Now, there was a deal when we shared this story um, for launch uh, where you could get 50% off your second bag. So we'll drop it to like um, 15 bucks each if you grab the two. I'm not sure if that's still running now, but you can uh, check it out on our site for more information. But a very, a very cool addition to see from um, from the team. I was very surprised when uh, the product kind of just came out of nowhere, launched, and I was just sort of had to take a second look because I was like, is this a is this a caffeinated energy cake? Which would have been damn cool, but it's it's not. And the thing is, is that even though it's a bit out of character or not out of character, it's not that beverage format that we know is Ray's Energy 4, it opens it up for the brand to go into many different directions because now it's going to become normal that if they do a second snack, it's going to be a nice follow-on from the Ray's Cakes and, 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 and it's going to give this brand this, this very nice functional all-around approach rather than just beverage. So um, it, it, they've just opened, the, they've potentially opened the gates. I don't know if they're going to do more snacks and functional foods but now it's not going to seem too surprising, um, almost fitting, if they do dive into other formats like a bar or chips or uh, some sort of candy treat or stuff like that. So uh, big, big, big props to the team at Rip Sports and Rage for that. It's pretty, pretty cool to see. Um, the next story we have uh, goes to um, the, the guys over at uh, Core Nutritionals. Well, not necessarily calling nutritionals, Doug Miller specifically, because if you're not familiar, um, he's the man behind uh, Core Nutritionals as well as America Labs and um, Arms Race Nutrition in partnership with Julian Smith. Now, they have dropped, both of those brands have dropped some pretty exciting news uh, over the past week. Firstly, we've got America Labs, who has announced that it's launching a new version of its original stimulant pre-workout, Red, White & Boom. Um, the product's been rebranded to match its energy drink, which also just relaunched and hit the market. Um, the Red, White & Boom pre-workout features a similar design, but a completely refreshed formula, really putting in a lot more ingredients uh, for a wider variety, so not for, for, for a more robust, well-rounded formula. Um, there's more in there for focus and pumps, but it still aims to provide that balanced experience of energy-focused pumps and performance. Um, it, it to, to me on paper it looks better than the previous version um, the original obviously uh, was different altogether that one had DMHA in it but um, yeah the, this one looks pretty solid uh, an interesting addition on this is they've put in 600 milligrams of KSM 66 ashwagandha which is a big one uh, which is a big addition to the product um, not something you see all that often in, uh, in pre-workouts <laughs> if, if at all um, but a cool little uh, multi-benefit kind of thing to throw in there. Um, you can check out the full formula on the site. A few of its other highlights include uh, 6 grams of pure citrulline, uh, full 5 grams of tried and true creatine monohydrate, uh, the usual 3.2 beta alanine, um, and you do get more caffeine in this one. There's a combined 420, whereas the previous one I think was 400 if I remember off the top of my head. So it's a little bit more, but that is broken up into 350 from caffeine and hydrous and then um, uh, 70 milligrams from um, Zomixar extended release caffeine. Um, and on the arms race nutrition side, as I said, there's uh, big news from arms race and America. Uh, if you follow the site, you would have seen a couple of big releases. Firstly, uh, arms race finally launched uh, Immunity Greens, which is the brand's packed out superfood supplement offering a lot more than your traditional greens and fruits. It's also combines, uh, as the name suggests, it also includes immune health ingredients, as well as probiotics for gut health, enzymes for digestion, um, and then uh, you've got uh, tracks, chelated minerals in there as well. So it and it, again, it has the immunity ingredients, of course, on top of the superfood as well. Um, so it's very all-in-one kind of comprehensive health formula, like a nice spin on um, the superfood category. Uh, I, I know that Core Greens is a similar cat superfood category as well from Core Nutritionals, Doug Miller's other brand. Um, that's quite a robust formula, and that's kind of the approach with Immunity Greens and Arms Race, but again, it has that nice immune health uh, twist on it, which is not um, is something you can see. I think I might have seen in a couple other brands, 
But of course, with Arms Race Nutrition, you're getting the, that, that premium advanced approach that the brand is known for and is, uh, can be seen in all of its other supplements. Um, but that is one of the big releases Arms Race has done. It has also come out with its long-awaited basic series, which is a straightforward series of supplements um, that has kicked out or started with four products. Um, they're all exactly as basic as they sound. Uh, there's creatine monohydrate, citrulline, glutamine, and BCA slash EAA. Um, with I guess the only one that really needs an explanation is the BCA EAA, and, and that is a, um, a full spectrum EAA supplement. Comes with uh, 10 grams of EAAs per serving, and 6 grams of that is BCAAs. The rest are just unflavored, straightforward versions of creatine monohydrate, glutamine, and citrulline. And uh, yeah, you can grab them all from the Arms Race Nutrition website, all varying in price as you'd expect. Uh, I think it's the glutamine is $21.99, the uh, citrulline is $19.99, and then the creatine and EAA are uh, the highest of the lot at $29.99. All of them are unflavored, so you can throw them in with a shake or a pre-workout and stuff like that. But yeah, you can check that out on the site. And uh, now we shoot to Quest Nutrition, who had, uh, we had two previews drop over the past couple of weeks. Uh, the first one I thought was quite interesting is um, we had a preview of Quest Frosted Cookies. And now uh, these are, from what I understand, um, they kind of look like the Optimum Cake Bites, but uh, they've been promoted, well, they're called Frosted Cookies. So I don't know if they're the same kind of thing. Obviously, you don't know until you try them, but the frosted, the name Frosted Cookie make it sound like a more of a crumbly texture. Um they're more fitting or they're more in line with Quest's uh, like candy bar snacks that they're doing lately where it's not so much that high 20 grams of protein you get in its flagship bar, like a little bit lower. So these Quest cookies or Quest frosted cookies have um, 5 grams of protein in them, 9 to 10 grams of carbohydrates with less than a gram of that sugar, 7 grams of fat and 90 calories. So obviously these things are quite small. They're 25 grams a piece so that 5 grams of protein does seem small but it's not as small as it sounds if you were to scale the size of this uh, these uh, frosted cookies up to i don't know 50 grams which is closer to the traditional quest bar you begin 10 grams um per frosted cookie or uh 10 grams per pair so it's um it's not too bad and, and, and 90 calories it's a nice addition to the lineup as i said it's it's more in that protein treat direction or protein snack direction where they've like the can the Quest candy bar, where it's more flavor first, uh, the, more than worrying about the uh, that getting that twenty grams of protein and, and, and trying to bring things up around that. It it seems that uh, the the protein's lower, and in my experience, in fact, almost always, the less protein you get, the better chance of it tasting damn good. So I have high hopes for this one, especially after Quest candy bar, which is absolutely delicious if you've tried it. Um, and same with the Quest uh, peanut butter cups, those are also amazing. So you can get a closer look at those Quest frosted cookies on our site. Um, we don't know when they're launching. We've only kind of had a picture of when they're uh, of um, and and then they're coming soon. Um, Vitamin Shop has them listed at eight ninety nine um, for a box of six, I believe. Um, and so they look like they come individually wrapped inside that box. So yeah, and two flavors, um, and those are chocolate cake and birthday cake. Um, but on, alongside that, we also got a picture or preview of a new flavor of the Quest protein bar, that, that, that signature popular, very well-established protein bar, and that is, um, it's a spin-off of the chocolate chip cookie dough Quest bar, which is called Dipped Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Now, we haven't seen inside of it, but we've got a picture of the packaging on, uh, on the site, and you can see that it basically looks like a just truly a chocolate-dipped version of the chocolate chip cookie dough Quest bar. Now, it does have less protein than the chocolate chip cookie dough bar, but that is very noticeably, uh, that makes sense, because if you look at the weight of this, this is 50 grams, so it's not this usual 60 grams. Um... And uh, so in that 50 gram bar, you get 17 grams of protein, 16 grams of carbohydrates with only a gram of that sugar, 9 grams of fat, and 180 calories. Um, so this one looks pretty damn good. If you're a fan of the chocolate chip cookie dough Quest Bar specifically, you're probably going to want to pick this up. It just sounds like the same thing that you've come to love and appreciate with a layer of chocolate. And almost everything is made better with a layer of chocolate. So uh, yeah, you can get a closer look on that and the Quest Frosted Cookies on our website. And the last story we have comes from G Fuel, who 
they've just been relentless over the past year, I would say year and a half now. They're just killing it with these flavor collaborations, just one after another after another. And more impressively, they're partnering with very different people and changing, moving into different things. And, and it's really cool to see. And kind of like GOT7, whenever you see an entirely new product from GOT7, you know it's going to be cool. Whenever you see an entirely new collaboration from G Fuel, you're pretty excited. And the coolest thing is, is G Fuel's been doing a lot of these with its energy drink. So it hasn't all been its its original gaming supplement. A lot of them have been for its its beverage. And the latest one that we've got details on, dropped last week, um, is in partnership with a film. Now this is the first time we've seen G Fuel do this, and I think it's pretty cool to see because it's not just any film. It is a it is a, it is, a it is a big one. Um, and Free Guy from uh, starring Ryan Reynolds. And um, you've seen the trailer. It's I'm pretty sure the film's releasing yeah August 13th. So uh, they kind of timed this obviously with the film and and, and the uh, the design of the G Fuel energy drink that's in partnership with Free Guy. It, it has a call out on the front saying Free Guy um, only in theaters. And then you got some promo graphics from the movie on the back of the can. The the colors are obviously of the can the rest of the can's usual G Fuel branding theme uh, have been tied in as well and the flavor itself is called flavor bomb which nice fitting with the free guy film but um for those wondering what that is it is uh g fuel has put out a description saying that it is a mix of cotton candy watermelon and vanilla which again it, you know these the, the partnerships these guys are pulling out and also the different flavors that they're pumping out it's really cool to see and, and i've said this several times before it, it I like it seeing G Fuel when they do, not only when they do these things, but they have been given the responsibility to associate a flavor with something, which is not an easy thing to do. Uh, when they did the Crash Bandicoot Wampa Fruit, they had to create the taste of that fruit. And that fruit has been well established in Crash Bandicoot games, and now they're having to come up with how it's meant to taste. Same with Sonic the Hedgehog and the Rings, and it's, you know, they, it's really cool to see them not just attempt these, but just, you know, go full out, design the can, put together a product, tie it in with the movie, get the get the partnership going, and then create what, like I said, an undoubtedly good taste and the mix of cotton candy, watermelon, vanilla. It's just, it's a whole combination of creative abilities and things coming together. And you can't help but be impressed. And it's very different, from, despite if you're being kind of the leader of the gaming supplement category, and coming from that supplement um, beginnings and base, they're doing very different things to pretty much anyone else in the industry. Even though they're doing collabs, which is something you see Ghost do, G Fuel is the only one I see doing this where they're you know, putting taste to names that aren't necessarily flavor related. And they're doing these great partnerships, awesome looking packaging, and you can't help but be impressed. And they've been killer since 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 the since last year maybe the year before i think it's it's almost feels like it's been going on forever but they really did start ramping things up over the past couple of years and it's uh, it's been a ride and a joy to watch but um you can get a closer look at that product the free guy collab with g fuel on the website uh you can i think you can sign up to be notified when it becomes available um I believe they're shooting for an early August launch, so within the next couple of weeks, and that's a nice lead up to when Free Guy is going to be hitting cinemas across the country on August 13th. Um, that will do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys listening and hope to have you back again next time.